Hey YouTube, it's Arcat here again. Um, this is part two of a two-part video. Part two is actually optional. So I just want to show you the comparison to the guns that I used to carry. I still do on occasion, but I just, like I said, I just bought this Ruger uh, LCP 380. Um, the one up above here is a Beretta 40. Um, Right now I got the mags out of it. I already safety checked these, so I'm not going to go ahead and safety check them on camera to save time. Uh, full magazines. I got two magazines here. Um, this is a full size, well, pretty full size uh, gun. It's a Beretta 9000S polymer frame, aluminum slide. It's pretty heavy, so it's a full size. I have um, a holster for this that I carry on the side, so on a belt outside which it's comfortable but you know it's really hard to conceal if you want to conceal it um, so I have two mags with that I also have over the shoulder um, type of a holster that I use in the winter time when I got my winter jacket on so it's easier and more comfortable to strap it on you know on slip the gun under your uh, arm in the holster I keep one magazine in the gun and obviously and the second magazine loaded in the mag holder on the uh, holster. The, the, the reason for this video is not to show you all the guns that I have out. Um, this is just to compare my new gun, which is this Ruger uh, LCP 380, to the guns that I normally carry. The one up above here is also a 380, but it's a full uh, steel gun, which is heavy as heck. Um, it's got this big long beaver tail. I'm going to show it up close in a minute. I just want to show you the size of the gun difference here. Look at this. I'm going from a full size down to a little tiny pocket gun, um, which is huge. Different. The, the weight of this thing is phenomenal. It's heavy. All right. And then we have the 380 that I normally carry, which is an FI. 380. Um, again, it's heavy, real all steel gun. Um, look at the, the the beaver tail on this thing. So when you're carrying it in your waistband, this thing jabs you on the side um, when you're trying to drive your vehicle. Not comfortable at all. Uh, look at the size of this hammer sticking out. Um, it, it's a nice gun. It fires well, um, but it's a it's an all steel gun. You always got to keep it cleaned and oiled so the rust don't uh, set in on the steel. And everything. Um, it's got a, a six round mag, six and one in the chamber if you keep one in, in chambered. Um, but other than that, I can't complain. The gun is a nice gun, but compared to the one I just purchased, look at the size difference. Um, it's fairly big difference in size. Okay, the width of the gun is a little slimmer than um, a little slimmer than the old FI but the weight is hugely different okay this feels like almost like a toy this uh, Ruger LCP 380 this has a lot of weight to it even unloaded with no magazine in it, it's heavy as heck because it's all steel all right but this is the gun I'm, of choice now that I'm going to carry with me um, as my my pocket pistol. It's a 380, so it's got plenty of stopping power just in case uh, something happens that I need it. Um, I do want to show you also um, a holster that I didn't show in the previous video. I showed you the two that I bought for this, but I do have a couple of holsters that I carry this in, um, a 22, a Walter 22 that I have. Um, that was my first first gun that I used to carry. I couldn't afford something more expensive. That was a, a brand new Walter I picked up that I really liked, the P22. I got that. Used that for target practice. It came with two barrels and such. It's a really nice gun. Um, I do want to show you a holster that I did pick up. This here, a lot of people probably don't even know about this. Um, they're out there. People probably uh, never really seen one because I really haven't seen too many of these on YouTube being talked about. This is called a Pager Pal. The reason why they call it that, when you buy this um, holster, I bought this uh, say about five years ago, it came with a pager hooked up to this. 
I cut the old pager off. You can see here. It comes with an old plastic dummy pager. You can actually use your own pager if you were, you know, people that still had pagers. But I cut that off so I didn't have a pager, old, you know, uh, junky plastic pager showing. This goes inside your pants, right down in front of your stomach. Um, this is flexible, nice quality leather for, for a small to medium gun. Um, the only thing that's visible on this is this little little uh, front piece of plastic hanging over your belt so it doesn't slide all the way down to your leg. But I think this will be a good holster if you want to carry this um, Ruger in. Slips in there nice if you want something like that. It's, it's, I'm sure people heard of the crossbreed. That's the way to go. This was a, a similar type of a holster that goes in your pants. Um, this slides down in the front again and it's very comfortable. Until you break it in, it's a little difficult, but once you break it in, it gets a little soft and it bends. You can sit down with this. It bends like this, you know, when you're sitting down, and the weapon is snugly in there. It fits in there nice and tight for a small to medium pistol. Look at this, the room that I still have here. Um, if you can see in there, um, it's quite a bit of room still for a little longer pistol. It's right about here. That's one of the things I wanted to show you, these, uh, one of these this holsters. It's called the Pager Pal. I do have another holster that I carry a lot, um, anchor, ankle holster, decent ankle holster. And I think it's going to be nice for this gun here because it's a small gun, lightweight. The original FI I just showed you a few minutes ago is a, a gun that's quite heavy. So when you have that in this holster, you can, you can feel the weight of the gun. You know, walking, it feels like an ankle weight on. But this holster here is a really nice holster. Uh, it's a quality holster. I'm not even sure who makes it, um, but it's all Velcro, goes around you. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's the same manufacturer. DeSantis um, is all the rest of them. Um, it's a very nice holster. There's no weight at all to this thing right now. So the weapon is in there, snugly in there. It goes around your ankle again. It's got a, plenty of Velcro for different uh, people with uh, thinner or, you know, little heavier calves um, and it has the nice finger release here so you can release and get your weapon out just flip it like that and you you have your weapon you know right there so that's just another host that I a holster that I uh, have and I carry this 380 here with but it's gonna feel a lot better with this other holster and with this other weapon in the holster so that's all I wanted to show you I just wanted to show you basically it's all about this new 380 that I bought this Ruger LCP and there's plenty of videos out there that you can watch regarding the, the you know the quality and everything. I've talked to a lot of people before I decided to buy this but today was the day I went out and picked it up. Um, normally it's much more expensive than I paid. I paid $199.99. You can't even tell it's been fired. It's like brand new. My previous video to this one shows you uh, I'll talk a little bit about it but um Tell me what you think. If you have any thoughts, comments, please post them, uh, video reply, whatever. I'd love to hear it. And anybody that has one of these uh, Rugers, these LCPs, let me know if you find anything that you found after owning it for a while. If you like it, you dislike it, and what what's the reasons behind liking it or disliking it. It's something short, you know, it doesn't have to be crazy, you know, a couple of minute video or something, or even something in the comments. I'd like to hear. Because uh, this is brand new to me, I did a lot of research, and um, the quality of this weapon is going to be phenomenal, I think. Uh, the feel of it is great. Um, I think I'm just going to enjoy it. So please, uh, anybody that has uh, comments, please post them. And um, I'd get back to you if it's a question. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you.